All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again here on this, the wild card of Wednesdays. What I have to talk to you about is this box. This box is called the Power Box Limited. And I did a first impressions a while ago about this box. It's wired in series, which means it puts out about 7.4 to 7.8 volts. And when you press the button, oh, you can't see it. You can't see it. It just lights up like a Christmas tree. And I've been kind of getting adjusted to this whole series thing. I don't know exactly what to build on there. Some people tell me some things, some people tell me other things. So I've just been experimenting. Someone on YouTube told me that Clapton's seem to work the best in series. So in order to get to know this mod, let me make sure it's juiced because this is a hot vape. In order to get to know this mod just a little bit better, we're gonna go up close as we always do for a quick short uppy closey time. All right, yeehaw, well let's spend a little bit of up close and personal time here with the Power Box Limited. This is a plastic clear project box. The door is held on by magnets just like that. It's very easy to get in and out of. It doesn't feel super durable. It feels like I could just crush this in my hand if I wanted to, especially if you dropped it on like a hard surface. I could see this door just, uh, I mean, it's plastic. I could see this cracking or shattering pretty freaking easily. Now, if you'll notice on the inside, it's wired in series. So also don't be alarmed. These are actually clear wrapped batteries. These batteries do have wrappings on them. So don't worry about that. They're clear. There's no, uh, no sort of protection MOSFET for the switch. It's just a big switch and it runs in series, which means it's going to give me about seven and a half volts, which will read out on this display here. And then you'll see it light up like a Christmas tree when I press the button. So 7.8 volts. So these are freshly charged batteries and every time you press the button yes the lights go on and as it stands on this version that I have there is no way to uh, to turn that up just lights up like a dance party USA just lights up just lights up like crazy on the top is a non flush but spring loaded 510 connection all the wiring in the inside seems pretty it's pretty hefty, pretty sturdy, maybe with the exception of these, but there are some very larger, thicker gauge green wires going from the uh, voltage readout, from the sled to the voltage readout, and then up to this 510 connection. The 510 connection obviously connects to the switch. And if I pull one of these batteries out of here, you can see it's just uh, a pretty basic sled. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Now this isn't parallel, this is series, so you have to put one negative uh, this way and one negative the other direction. So you have to flip the batteries around, kind of like you would, I guess, uh, in the Segeli 150 watt. Isn't that how that was wired? It was a series. You had to put one up and one down. There's a lot of space in here around the sled. Obviously there's LEDs in here like crazy. I, I don't really care about the LEDs. I generally love LED lighting. I want to put LED lighting all over my house, but in this, eh, it just lights up like uh, it just lights up like crazy. So, like I said, there's nothing protecting the switch from the amps or the battery um, or the battery load. So, I'm not sure how possibly long this switch is going to last. It's been working for about two months now, but I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to last. So keep in mind when you're vaping this, 7.8 volts, that's a lot. So uh, you'll have to build your atomizers accordingly. That uh, just stays on there and it all feels very nice except for this piece of canthal that is stuck to this magnet right there. There's a piece of canthal, there you go. That's what you use it for. So yeah, power box, it's plastic. It's big, it's made in the USA, and uh, yeah, a whole, not a whole lot to see here except for, uh, you know, the 4th of July. So yeah, let's get back out to normal view and let's vape this monster. Normal view, normal view. Now what I have on here now is the 13 Heavens 9 Hells RDA which I'm not gonna, I didn't mention this in my Twisted Messes RDA review, but this is put out by the same company that makes the Twisted Messes RDA, and it's essentially a clone of that RDA, and to me that seems stupid. But it's not about that. What it's about is this. So I put in here a dual coil Clapton 
build. I didn't clapton any wires together. I don't have time for that. But what I do have time for is Yude. Now Yude makes spools of Canthal that are pre-twisted and pre-claptoned. Brilliant. So all I did was I took some clapton wire, I did a bunch of wraps. This came out to about 0 0.3 ohms. It is a hot, hot vape at 7.8 volts. I guess it's a, lot, a little bit less than 7.8 volts. It's like 7.4 volts under load, but it's still, oh my freaking God, it is a hot, hot vape. You can literally take a pull that's like 0 0.2 seconds long on this box. Watch. You just get, <coughs> and you have to breathe really hard. I mean, use, I mean, you have to use all your lung ability to cool that vapor down because it comes out hot. And if you take a piddly little like, like you would on a, on a different build or a different atomizer, it's going to knock your socks off. The, it's ridiculous. the vapor that this is producing. But this build so far has been the best one that I've put on here. I tried some other Claptons at both higher and lower resistances. I found that the higher resistances got a little spitty. It was hot but spitty and the lower resistance seems to work really well. I don't get any crackling sounds which I dislike in atomizers. I just get that, you know, that atomizer sound that I really, really like. Like I said, it's it's series. I'm not used to series. I'm acclimating myself to series. The box itself is plastic. It's a plastic box. It's got a sticker on the back. Now these retail for Vape Budget Hands, $125. $125. Now there's a lot of improvements I could see on this. I could see adding a little thing so it's easier to open the door. I could see maybe using a slightly smaller box, maybe getting rid of those LEDs. The door is great. There's no play on it, up or down or anything. It just stays on there really, really well. I kind of like the why, why aren't the lights on? The, the lights aren't on. What the heck is going on here? Why aren't the lights on? Why can't I open this? Did I do something to you? Or do you just not like lighting up anymore? I didn't believe there was a way to turn off the light. Hot, hot atomizer, hot atomizer coming out of the gate. Huh. So now it lights up. But with that atomizer, it was not lighting up. I'm confused. I don't know what's going on right now. I don't have anything else I can possibly put on this. Other than that build, I don't even want to try a sub tank. I wouldn't put a tank on this to save my life. Nothing was out of the ordinary. The batteries aren't warm. The switch isn't warm. It just straight up was not lighting up when I put this atomizer back on here. Let me try again. Nope. For some reason, it's not lighting up when the atomizer's on there, and I have no idea why. Maybe the resistance is too low. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I'll post a link in the description to the Facebook page where you can check these out. Now, he doesn't have a website set up yet, but he tells me that he is setting up a website. But for now, you have to go to the to the Facebook page, Power Box by Box Mods Unlimited. This is the Power Box Unlimited. The new ones actually look better and different than mine. Uh, they seem to be coated with like carbon fiber graphics. The new boxes look cooler than the one I have, but that's not me. This is a dude making project boxes and this is the one that I have, so that's the one I'm gonna talk about. It's wired in series, it's hot. I'm still fiddling around with atomizers trying to get the right build on here. As it stands so far, this is my favorite, even though it's a little intense. And what I found myself doing, not to make this video run any longer than it needs to, what I found myself doing is pulsing the button. And it actually works really, really well. So I start taking a drag and I just tap the button to just vapors into my mouth.
It's intense. It's a little bit on the intense side. I would have to knock down my nicotine if I was going to vape that all the time. But it is what it is. This is the Power Box Limited. I'll post a link in the description to where you can check it out if you're so interested. But that's what I got. Thank you so much for joining me here again on Wildcard Wednesday. Let's everybody, let's keep on vaping. Good fucking God. <sighs> Vaping that is intense. I just feel like I ran up a flight of stairs or something. Like I'm winded from vaping that. It's so fucking intense. Good, <laughs> good God. Power box. No fucking joke there. That's enough.